So this is just a um, basket that I got at at the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I think I'm getting cold. Anyway, this is just a basket that I got when I went and picked a bunch of apples. It came in this. So I decided just to paint it white. And then I'm going to use some embellishments from the Dollar Tree. Some, you know, some cute little things that I picked up. Um, so hopefully you guys can see this. I don't know. It's going to be so cute. This is just acrylic paint uh, in titanium white. It can be, you know, whatever. Um, now, let me tell you, if you get this on your clothes, it's not going to come off. However, you know, it will come off if you get it on your counter or whatever, but I don't, I should have put some papers or something down. Anyway, so I'm going to do this until it's done. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I decided to come out here because the light is better and ooh, I think you can probably see it just a little bit better. I don't know. So let's hope. Okay, so I am going to just paint this whole thing white. I'm hoping that it will turn out good. You can see I started on the bottom and it kind of dripped through, but that's okay. That is a-okay. So let's turn this over. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Uh, get what I didn't have done here. It doesn't have to be perfect because you know what? I'm going to cover this up. Now, when you paint with white, what that means, if, if I was to start, let's just say I was to start with my regular, you know, like the orange or black or well, maybe not black, but if I was going to color with a different or paint with a different color, it might, it's pretty transparent with acrylic paints. The white will actually, um, gives it like a base coat and then you can paint whatever color you want on top of it. I don't even know if I'm going to paint another color on top of it. I may just do embellishments or stickers from the Dollar Tree, you know, and this doesn't have to be perfect. Um... I just want to cover up this wood or I don't know what this is I don't think it's really wood but it's um something I don't know <clears throat> this is gonna be really cute when it's finished I'm excited I think my aunt will love it I wish I was I could be there to see her face but you know it's all right I'm not doing it for me I'm doing it for her I haven't seen my Aunt Marge in a long time, in a couple of years, probably. Uh, my Uncle Don got really sick back in December, November or December of last year, and he spent about six months in the hospital. He uh, went in for a routine colonoscopy and went downhill from there. Bless his little heart, you know. he. So I'm hoping, you know, that now that he's on the mend, he's finally at home, he spent six to seven months in the hospital like I said and now he's home and he's able to um, get around a lot better but poor Aunt Marge you know she wasn't able to do all the things that she loved so I'm just gonna send her this little gift like I said earlier to um, hopefully this will brighten her up a little bit and him as well you know they're great people I just love them and it's my dad's older sister, and I lost my father back in 2002, but, um, and actually my Aunt Marge is the only person that's left from that side of our family, so <clears throat> she's pretty special to me. I just love her, and I love it that, you know, her and my mom are really close. They've always been really close. Um... get some more paint here anyway so those two have a blast when they get together I'm so glad that mom's gonna be able to go out there mom hasn't seen them nobody really has seen them or I haven't since you know all this went down a few months ago so uh, this is really weird doing this with a camera like in between my hands I don't know how or another way to do it I guess I'll figure it out one day 
Okay, so I still have to do the, I still have to do the sides and the, the inside, so. But I'm going to let this dry before I actually do the inside because I don't, I don't want paint everywhere. As you can see, I'm getting, oops, hello. Sorry, getting this all over. Oh, there goes my bags. Oh, well. I'm getting this all over my hands, but that's okay. It washes right off. So, I'll probably get it all over my deck now that my baggies are gone. I'll tell you what, this is so much fun. I love doing stuff like this. You know? All right, we're going to let this dry and then we'll do the inside. All right, so how fun is this? I'm getting a gift basket basket together for my mom to take to Michigan for my aunt. I've mentioned it a couple times. And I'm sending her a whole lot of can stuff that I have canned. And um, we have some bread and butter pickles, French onion soup, uh, chili, which is fantastic, some salsa, and this stuff is so good. I'm gonna do this in a couple of weeks and make another batch. Well, you guys will be there with me. Some chow chow. If you're from the south, you know exactly what this is. Other known, other way, it can be relish or um, some mild, whoa, hello, I can't see very well. Mild pepper jelly. Some apple butter. Not pretty. Oh. Some more apple butter. Um, I made some pineapple jam. I made some peach butter. We had a plethora of peaches last month. And then I made some strawberry preserves. So this is all gonna go in this basket. Now I had um, some ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree and you guys saw me paint this earlier. So I just took this ribbon and I put it around the basket, but it, I didn't have a lot left. So I kind of stapled it, but this is the back. So I hope it'll be okay. So what I'm gonna do now, oh, let me show you what else I'm gonna put in there. I'm going to put these um, that I got at the Dollar Tree the other day. These cute stickers that I just love. A little card. A book. Well, three books total. Three. Um, a dish towel and this puzzle. So, oh, and some homemade dish cloths. I'm going to go get those real quick. All right, also, um, so here are the dish, the dish rags or dish claws, whatever you want to call them, that I made. I made these last year and I only have three left. I'm afraid I'm not going to have a lot of time to knit her anymore today. 
because I really want to get this done today. But anyway, um, they're, they turned out great and they're 100% cotton, so they're great for dishes. And she'll appreciate that, I think. I may put a little label on this saying homemade with love. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to decorate this basket. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know if I want to use these or if I want to use my spooky cats. I uh, probably should have had a plan, huh? Oh dear, my dish rags fell on the sink. At least it's clean and dry. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use some of these. Home sweet home family. Family is everything. That's cute. So, let's see if I can do it this way and you guys can see me. No, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to put these stickers on and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so, so far I have taken some of the stickers I got at the Dollar Tree and I hot glued them. The sticker part is really sturdy. I was really surprised by that. Um, these are the ones I hot glued. I didn't hot glue the arrow because I'm not sure I really like it there. But, um, isn't that cute? Home is where the heart is. Family is everything. It's going to my family. I went ahead and I put a bunch of bags at the bottom. I wish I had more. I wish I had more newspaper or something. Cause this is going to rattle around but hopefully when i get everything in there and then put it in the bag it won't be you know it won't all right so should i put oh, i don't know maybe that's too much i think that's too much so i think i'm gonna leave it like that for now i didn't put anything on the sides maybe i'll do that yeah that's what i'm gonna do all right yay i love this game all right so i went ahead i couldn't get my tripod to work so I went ahead and filled the basket I finished um, decorating with stickers I actually hot glued these like I said um, in that cute best <laughs> it's a little button and love oh, I hope she loves this um, everything like I said in here I can myself let's see this is remember this to my Dollar Tree haul oh he's so cute and she had actually given me something like this a few years ago. It was a flower with a bee on it. And it dances on your windowsill. So now all I have to do is put it in the bag. Well, I'm going to write out the card and then put it in the bag. And it'll be ready to go in a couple days. Okay, so the basket is finished. Uh, the cellophane wrapper that I bought was not wide enough. So I had to put it kind of on sideways. But I think it's okay. Um... But it turned out really cute. I just put a little, had to twist it and put a little thing on the end. Not the best bow work, but I don't make good bows. I'm going to have to do better. Anyway, I think she'll appreciate this. I hope so. I love getting get, giving gifts like this. It's so much fun. You see the little candles? There's little Yankee candles in there. And All right. Well, this is just a taste from my house to hers. And hopefully it will brighten her day and give her, you know, at least make her smile for a minute or two, her and my uncle. And I mean, they both deserve it. They're both awesome people. I love you guys so much. I know you don't have a computer, internet, so you'll never see this. But <clears throat> it's okay. They know I love them. That's all that matters. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very good because I had to keep pausing and doing work and then showing it to you. But next time i have to get a better tripod i actually broke mine so once i do that we'll actually do it together the next time all right until then you guys be happy bye